could get closer. He can hear us. What do you mean by who? D don't tell me you don't know. You you've seen him. You've you've heard of him. He stares at you for hours and whispers into your ears. He's he's probably looking at me right now. He, he memorizes your words and repeats them again and again and again. I'm talking about the ghost of our studio, the ghost of Marcus Hall. Rumor has it that this building was built on his grave. They displaced his bones and desecrated his site. That's why he's here, wandering in and around the building. That's why he's angry and waiting for the best opportunity to take his revenge. Next time, when you feel a cold breath behind your neck, it's probably him staring at you, breathing on you. That's him. I better go. <laughs>
let's continue with the show. In the studio, we have our great correspondents, A. Hey, AJ, what do you want us to do today? Hello to you all at SFSU watching us from YouTube. And thank you, for Teresa, for having me. Um, as usual, we took our show to the streets of campus to ask students a few questions on what their plans for Halloween was, their favorite scary movie, and ask them about their scary experiences. Do you have any scary story you want to share with us? Actually, I do. Earlier today, after we shot Street Talk, I went to go put my stuff away and get ready to go home, and all of a sudden, boom, the door slams. In my head, there's no one's with me, so I'm thinking, who is it? I go check it out, no one was there. I go back to get my stuff, all of it was gone. My camera, my backpack, my tripod, everything. It was, it was very bizarre. That's bizarre. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, AA. Let's see what you got for us this week in the new... What was that? I don't know. Okay, okay. Uh, we are dealing with some technical difficulties. Let's watch AJ's footage uh, if we have that ready. I'm Batman. You guys have any scary stories to share with us? I have a few. Okay. My first one is kind of like, okay, I was waking up, sorry, no, waking up from a nap, actually. Okay. And I saw like a, a person dressed in like black and it looked like the devil. Oh, heck no. <laughs> what? Yeah. I like needed to go to the bathroom. So like, I can't. You blocked looking. you from using the bathroom? Yeah. I've seen a couple of lights flicker in Burke Hall, so. I Here? I say watch out for that. In Burke Hall? Yes. Oh, heck nah. <laughs> Get out of there. Ooh, honestly, I have a lot, but to keep it short and sweet, um, I was in this, my room this one time, and the lights just turned off. So it was just right. I think it was a power outage, but I'm just going to call it a spooky story. Um, I think one time we were at like a, a graveyard, you know, doing like little hooligan things in high school. I think we heard like shrieks. Um, it was most likely just like someone just like messing with us, but like we still heard it. Oh, heck nah. I can't do that. What was your reaction? He kept walking towards me, and I was just like, sure. It was a real person? It looked real. What was it? Okay, after you see him walk towards you, what do you do? I ran out. <laughs> the house? Was there, was there other people in there? My mom was sleeping. You left your mom to die? <laughs> I couldn't. So, um, my freshman year, first semester, I was at the library at, I think, 1.30 a.m. And then I walked... A.m.? 1.30? Yeah, the... the, the library outside one open to oh. like 2 a.m. So 1.30, I was walking out and then I saw a security guard like walking literally right there. Um, I turned back to look, like check like who's behind me. I turned back again in front of me, he's gone. Like, it's like two seconds, not even. He's the flash or something. Damn. He is definitely the flash. Maybe it was dark, it was 1 a.m. No, I mean, no, no, I can see him clearly, but uh, he's just like, <laughs> He's gone. I'm Batman. This is Street Talk. Back to you. Don't worry, there's more. We will have back AJ, but now in the studio we have our very own Adam. From Dambro, please chat with Adam. Hey Adam, I can't wait to see what you gave on your show today. Aw, oh, hey, Teresa. Thank you. So nice seeing you. I know we have so many Halloween surprises in store today. I interviewed a student from the fashion department, so she'll be giving us tips on how to dress properly for different occasions. Also, wait for it, giving us great tips on Halloween costumes and how we can incorporate fashion into it. Even more, I have an R&B musician taking his talent onto our stage singing about Halloween. We also had our guests today participate in a little Halloween special game show, Apple bobbing. <laughs> Apple bobbing, that's my favorite Halloween game. I also heard that you had some surprise guests. That is correct. Coming up next, we have cute pets in their Halloween costumes. Don't miss it and stay tuned until the end to watch KVP perform. And that is coming up next in Chat with Adam.
Hello, we are here with the first part of the chat with Adam. Today I have brought you something super cute that I know you're going to love. Because if there's something that everyone loves, it's pets and, well, costumes. <laughs> and what happens if we put the two of them together? Well, today I've brought you some very special guests that will not leave you, well, feeling disappointed. With further ado, let's meet our first guest. I welcome to you Gaga, brought to you by her owner, Jada. Hi, Jada. How you doing? Hello, I'm good. How are you? So tell us a little bit about Gaga. What's the Halloween costume? Has anyone figured it out at home yet? If you couldn't tell, so since her name is Gaga, she's just up as a radio today in honor of the Queen song, Radio Gaga, because hello, what's my costume today? Mr. Freddie Mercury. Yes. Ladies you know, and gentlemen. Little couple's costume we got going on. Well, who doesn't love a couple's costume? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Well, can you give us a little spin? Yeah, show off all the sides. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I know. Oh, In case my you goodness. didn't know, too, right there. So can you tell us a little bit how you made the costume? Oh, yeah. I made it last night, actually. And it's just with, like, a bunch of paper and cardboard on, like, an Amazon box, you know? Yeah. Uh, impressive. <laughs> She's really working it. She's showing <laughs> confidence, showing us up. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming here today. And is there anything you'd like to tell your audience back at home? She looks good. Yeah. And she knows it. Well, thank you both so much for coming out tonight. Have a happy Halloween, Gaga. And you too, Jada. Thank you so very much. Oh my gosh. Wasn't she so cute? <laughs> You guys picked the wrong person to do this. I can't handle it. All right, let's bring out our next guest. <laughs> All righty, here we got Cece with none other than Canelo. Hi, Cece. How Hi, you doing? I'm doing great. So tell us a little bit about Canelo. Canelo's seven years old. He's kind of grumpy. He's supposed to come in a hot dog costume, but he's a little chunky. So it looked more like a burger. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Oh, my goodness. And how old is he? He's seven. Seven? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hello. And then what kind of breed is he? He is half Aussie, half Beagle. Half Aussie, half Beagle. Yeah, if you could see in his eyes. Oh, my goodness. I wish the camera could just get how gorgeous his eyes are. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> see, and he feels relaxed with us, and that's really what you're looking for, right? Exactly. When it comes to a Halloween costume. Absolutely, Canelo. So, beagles, you guys are little hunter animals, right? Yeah, you yeah. like your hunting. Absolutely. Well, anything to say to all those little hunties out there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no comment? One more time. Uh, sorry? Canelo, what? What did you say? He pleads the fifth. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Canelo. And thank you so much, Cece, for joining of us course. here today. <laughs> Hi. Give it up for Canelo, everybody. <laughs> And that's our little pet show for today. There are still so many surprises to come after seeing what our campus mates have told us about their Halloween costumes with AJ on the street. What is your favorite Halloween costume? Halloween costume? Well, not me personally, but I saw someone dress up as Doodle Bob. Doodle Bob? Yeah. Like, you know that one episode from SpongeBob where they drew him? That was pretty sick. The paper version of SpongeBob. Exactly. He was evil. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I didn't like him. Ooh, I would say uh, when I see a Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear? That is creative. Batman. Batman. What do you like about Batman? The, um, I guess the money? I am rich. My favorite Halloween costume is got to be the spookier ones when people do like the full makeup and do kind of like gory. All the cosmetics and all that extra stuff? Ooh, probably something classical like a witch or a ghost. Okay. I mean... This year I'm gonna be a king. I love like a cheesy Dracula costume with like the really cheap teeth and like they put like fake blood everywhere. It's like very nostalgic. Um, my favorite Halloween costume is probably Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead? Yeah, I think it's the funniest pair of costume that there is. So you have someone else dress as one of the other? Yeah. Oh, okay. How about growing up? Growing up, probably I was a horse when I was A horse? Yeah. <laughs> I would have to go for the Joker. The huh? The Joker. What do you mean? Halloween costumes. Joker. Yeah. You not? Oh, oh heck no! Nah. This is Harley Quinn over here. Growing up, oh, I was Captain Jack Sparrow one year. 
that was pretty that was pretty sick i had the whole captain hat i had the whole fit going it was rad um favorite halloween candy uh favorite halloween candy is the sour patch kids gotta be um probably snickers snickers yeah i think twix is better yeah yeah me person left or right i'm a right guy yeah yeah hands down anything chocolate but probably 100 grand <gasps> yes 100 grand that's the best one yeah huh my favorite halloween candy is probably sweetest fish you know i got a basket full of candy i think i'm a but you're gonna get it after the interview sorry skittles skittles yeah which color green nah blue Nah, Green. that's all I got and back to you. Welcome back. Today we have an incredible artist who's come all the way from Milan, Italy to study fashion at SFSU. She came to tell us about her journey through fashion and also to reveal some tips, which I don't know about you, but I'm dying to know. I won't keep you waiting any longer and I'll give way to our wonderful guest. Welcome, Vittoria. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. We're so excited to have you here today. So we're actually going to get right on started with our first question. So as we know, Vittoria is a fashion student here at SF State. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? You're from Milan. What's your story? What brought you here? Uh, yes, I'm from Milan, but I used to live in different countries. And I, my style is based uh, on what I've seen throughout my life uh, and the places I went to. Um, I lived in Milan, but in Paris as well, and also Singapore and Dubai. So I try to take uh, inspiration from the places I've been to. Absolutely. And you know, you mentioned so many places, which is already awesome within itself. What's your favorite place that you've been to? I would say Paris and Singapore. Uh, Paris for the architecture and just the it's a beautiful city. And, and Singapore, because it, I felt it was, um, like I just uh, was living yeah, my best life. <laughs> Absolutely, live your best <laughs> life as you should. You, you spent some time in Milan. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you did there? I know you had a magazine run, and I got some time in Paris as well, if you want to talk to us about some of your history. Uh, yes, I had to do a magazine with my, um, for my class and uh, I decided to, to choose uh, a common story. Um, I did a photo shoot with a friend, like uh, I took pictures of this friend that she's doing, um, she's a model and an influencer. And she, um, I wanted to show a little bit the life of a girl that she's changing. Uh, she, she's an adolescent and she's trying, like, she can, uh, the body is changing and uh, her ideas, her way of being and I just show it uh, through a magazine with different clothes uh, um, from the beginning of the day until the evening when she goes out and yes. Absolutely. Can you maybe do me a favor and break down um, the design process so for something like that? So you start from square one until your final product. What does that look like for you? Uh, you mean the design part? Like yeah, whether like you start with a vision in your head, you start with your sketching, do you start with a color, a fabric idea? How does that process work? Uh, first is the research. So I try to look at different like fashion shows and then, yes, I took inspiration from pictures or just uh, while going out, uh, walking, I look at people, I look at details. And then I draw, uh, I have to draw the dress. Then I have to, do, to make the technical dress. And after this, I can find the materials and start to sew and, and make the dress. And then the magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> I love but it's a long that. process, really. Absolutely. Like, How long did that take you for the magazine? Uh, for example, I did um, the last thing I did it was a jacket, and to do the pattern of the jacket, it took like I think uh, yes, one week, and then <laughs> uh, to sew it was long because you had to do um, I don't know how to say it in English, but it's like uh, it's kind of two jackets because you have to make. First, uh, the inside, and then mm, the, the, absolutely, yeah, the lining in the inside. Yes, absolutely, exactly. okay. By all means. So, do you have um, 
maybe a designer too that you pull most inspiration from or was there any that maybe helped mm. make the decision for you to go into fashion? I really like Alberta Ferretti. It's an Italian uh, designer and she, mm, she, I really like how she mix uh, elegance with uh, casual together because I feel it's like my style. It's, uh, I took inspiration from her. And she's also trying to mix uh, culture together in the fashion shows. Uh, um, so I really like to see what she does all the time. Absolutely. So Victoria, I have one last question for you since it is Halloween time. Yes. What would be your best tips and tricks for the perfect fashionable Halloween costume? <laughs> I Actually, I never celebrate Halloween because in Italy it's not really famous to celebrate it. Really? But I think here I would... I'm, you know that I, I don't know how to answer. <laughs> well, you no, know what? That's why we're in this season. We are here to find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will go and, uh, yes, explore and see and what could... Exactly. Yeah. Well, just like a normal fashion designer, right? Pull inspiration. Yeah. That's the whole point of dressing up. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Victoria, right. for oh. sharing all of your information with us. Well, we'd love to see you again. But now let's get back to Teresa in the studio. Thank you, Adam. Every day, I like your segment more and more. Next up, KVP will take his talent to the stage and put us in some Halloween spirit. And then, Adam will take our co-host participating in a special Halloween game show, Apple Bobbing. But first, let's go with Roman for Hell. Halloween is a good day to watch scary movies. So, let's see what our favorite romans are watching today. Woo! I got it. Found it. It's supposed to be a good movie. What is it? An action? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, a comedy. You, where do you get it from? From your room. Is it mine? Nah. Former roommate left it in his DVD player. You don't believe that? And you didn't. And he didn't take it with him. No, dude. He didn't take anything. He was gone missing. Missing? What happened to him? No one knows. One day, he gone vanished. And he just left his stuff. He left everything. It's like he never left. You know what? Stuff like this happened before. What happened before? A rumor has it. You know what? The room that I came into, my roommate, the old roommate, he was gone missing too. And this is strange? Long time ago. Two roommates got into some sort of altercation and stuff. Long story short, one of them killed the other one. Here. In this apartment. Mm-hmm. And some say his ghost is still around and looking for the bad roommate. Okay. Let's watch this. Hey, yo! Oh, oh, whoa, I, whoa, 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 I thought this was a comedy! No, dude. This is not in a comedy. Ah. Let's get out of here. Ah. Oh, no. ah. <laughs> Oof. After watching that skit, I'll think twice the next time someone suggests me to watch a scary movie. Anyway, well, let's get to the point. It's great to have you here, KVP. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Well, let's watch your performance and then we'll talk, shall we? Sounds good. Yeah, a hey, scary hours in the bay. It's a thriller type beat. Let me dance while I decay. Jason Vaughn, he's our master. Don't play me. Sinister tape, same thing. Don't play me. I might just be crazy. Light up the bassy. Mike Myers, when I spit the fire, overtakes me. Pop out the grave chainsaw with a veins be. I'm cool, Joe. Ain't no fool could ever tame me. Goons, goblins, monsters, ghosts. Damn you, hate. Well, they my folks might catch y'all tripping like a slasher trope. I get them all screaming, hitting highest notes. Hi, doll, you want? I'ma bust through the door like it is. Johnny, don't make me act twice. The Texas Chainsaw, yeah, I'm leaving y'all dice. The demons been chasing me all through the night. I'm berserk. I 
got the guts to put up a fight Sending chills down spines, yeah, that's a dying sight So shorty stay back, cause I just might bite If you see that saw, that's gonna be your last sight I ain't in the nightmares, man, I'm haunting your dreams A real ghost face killer, I'm loving the screams I'm the reaper in the cloak, the fam in the mask I'm Shang Tsung in this game, I get you so snatched So lace up them J's, yeah, you better run fast But you can never outrun your past In the alleys and abysses, that's why I reside You can never fight me, cause I'm in your mind I'm feared, yeah I said, uh, fear Best bet, uh, here, yeah Thank y'all for having me out here. Let's get right into the next one. Let's go. It's anatomy. Let's take the bones, some clothes, and let's examine the anatomy. It's called saying you was family, the chest saying you the best. In the humorous, just love the way you jest. No spines, I have to paint, I won't mind. Nasal bone to hone, the smell of time, aromas from the past and the future fragrance. Sorry, sorry if it gets too flagrant. I was just too foul. As soon as you fall back, I threw the towel. The girl who wolf house, no one I would check it out. But I was sleeping like a sheep and let you mess around in my head like a thorn covered crown. And all around my heart, thought we was lover bound. The feds was at the door and I was at your neck. What we almost found was a couple rounds, but I could have lost them. Was a whole life ahead. But if that shit never happened, we would still be dead. Damn, hey. I know you probably mad at me I'm cleaning the closet, exposing all anatomy Yeah, I'm just sorry that it had to be like this I'm just sorry that it had to be, yeah I know you probably mad at me I'm cleaning the closet, exposing all anatomy Yeah, I'm just sorry that it had to be I'm just sorry, yeah I was that night in shining armor And now I'm rusted from the armor You left me in November rain Rose voice helps to remember pain Slash ties of a Rolls Royce, you a ghost forever staying in my brain. No one you the one to blame, and I'm ashamed. I have faith in this shit. Now I'm down in this vodka, along with the ship. I'm starting to accept it. From your perspective, you can't stand aside of me. You should have never lied to me. This room was full of ivory. I'm not spiting, just spitting hidden hands from this diary. And it was pre written, supreme mathematically. Now I can see it. The arm, leg, leg, arm, head. We really aren't dead. My thoughts just haunted. Maybe I should just forgive and forget. Live and let live. Love life later on. And at the end, we really are friends. But I'm tired of making these peace offerings and sending my arms only for you to off them. Often I find me walking on one femur. I was trying to reach it, but maybe I should leave her. Teach her the classic lesson. You don't really know what you lost till you left with depression. I'm tired of the tension, heading for the road. Time to put these old bones back in the wardrobe. Yeah, I know you're probably mad at me. I'm cleaning closet, exposing all anatomy. Yeah. I'm just sorry that it had to be like this. I'm just sorry that it had to be, yeah. I know you probably mad at me. I'm cleaning closet, exposing all anatomy, yeah. I'm just sorry that it had to be. I'm just sorry, yeah. Thank you. We out. Thank you, KVB, for your incredible performance. No problem. So I'm going to first start out by asking you, what inspired you to get into music? So what originally inspired me was, well, I think just in my, my whole life, I've just always been like into music and into hip hop in particular. And then, you know, just growing up in it, just hearing it on the streets, just like listening to it in the car. And I remember just getting out of high school and I spent a little time in community and I was like, you know, I really want to do it, really want to do it. And then I was like, well, when, when am I going to do it? I was thinking that's in my head, you know what I mean? Like, when am I going to do it? And then uh, COVID hits, you know, like p pandemic oh, yes. hits. So <laughs> I go to Best Buy, buy me a mic, buy me, a, you know, all the equipment that I need, put that in and start making music. And that's pretty much just, it was something that I felt like it was always meant to be. I'm meant to do it and I just went and I, I did it. Absolutely. The stars aligned for you. That's yes, all you sir. can ask for, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love to hear it. So kind of going off of that question, um, can you tell me some of your biggest inspirations in music? I can indeed. Um, so recently I, I went to a, a, a concert, it was a Wu-Tang and Nas concert, and those two are huge inspirations. You know, I, I, it should be for any hip hop artist, you know, at least doing the style that I'm doing. Um, very lyrical, heavy. But um, yeah, those two, you know, I, I, I like a guy named uh, Lupe Fiasco. Not a lot of people like, you know, know him like that, but he's one of the 
yeah, MCs that people should just study, you know. Him, MF Doom, like a lot of these heavy lyricists and uh I see y'all got a nineteen ninety nine back here, Joy Absolutely. Joy Bad. You know, so Joy Badass, he's he's one of the biggest inspirations that I've ever had. Um, especially, you know, recently just he's got that that kind of like he just walking down the street or bumping in your car, just chilling and you know, something deep to listen to, something with good meaning. But yeah. That's a, a lot of my inspirations right there. Absolutely. So we've talked a lot about your inspiration and your history leading into music, but where would you like to see your career in the future? Where would you like this to go? Honestly, it's, uh, it's at this point, you know, recently I've been thinking it's kind of up in the air. There's been times where, you know, I, I want it to be big and grand, and there's sometimes where I like, ah, if I don't make it, I don't make it. But regardless, I think the thing is, is, of course, the end game, if I'm doing music, the end game would to be to get recognition, you know, if not, you know, around the country, even around, you know, the world potentially, right? Just get recognition for the good things that I've been doing. Like, the, the like I feel like my stuff is quality. You know what I mean? I feel like it's worth being listened to. I feel like it's worth being played. You know what I mean? So that's the ultimate, you know, end game. But the thing is, you know, life ain't like that. You know, it's not, it's, sometimes it ain't fair. You know, it, it'll kick you in the face sometimes. It, it, no matter how good your music could be, it could throw you down. And, you know, that's just how it is. I got to roll with the punches. So we'll see. You know, for now, though, I'm just sticking to the now. I got to make the music, you know, that I'm making now and just continue to make it quality, and we'll see where it goes. As you should. As you should. You mentioned recognition, yeah. so let's give you some recognition. Um, can you tell us where we can find you on socials, yes, any yes. streaming platforms? So you can find me out on uh, IG at the Infinite KVP. T H E I N F I N I T E K V P. I don't even know if I spelled that right to be honest, but uh, the infinite K V P. Yeah, so that's on IG, and then through there you can find all the links. You know, I'm also on Spotify. I'm on Apple Music. You know, I'm on YouTube, SoundCloud. Please check all those out. Um, I'm doing a, a music video for one of the songs I have, 99. That's gonna come out uh, soon. We got that, and then you know, I recently released an album, Pale Horse. Uh, that's the one that I, I want people to check out. That's the album I've been working on for a couple years now. So, Pale Horse, if you go to that IG, you'll find all the links. That would be much appreciated. Well, you heard it here. Check out that IG. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, thank you yeah, so yeah. much for being here, for your performance, and for answering all my questions. Of course, of course. No doubt that you're going to go crazy far in the music industry. So thank you for being here <laughs> sir, today. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, I'll now take you to our co-hosts, Naveed and Christian, to the most awaited moment of the evening. Please follow as we are going to play some apple bobbing. Are you excited as I am? Welcome to our special game show, Apple Bobbing. This is a traditional Halloween game played by families at Halloween parties around the United States. Here's how the game works. We have two tubes filled with water, apples floating on it. The players will have to try to bite the apples out of the water, but no hands are allowed. Our two co-hosts today are going to compete against each other to see who can get the most apples in one minute. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. All righty. We have Naveed and Christian. Hands back. Jaws at the ready. Let the game begin in three, two, one. May the best win. All righty. They're up. Naveed's already struggling a little bit. It sure sounds like it. Oh, my gosh. I've never played this game in person before. It's a lot more vocal than you think. Oh, one for David. Look at that. Christian, are we going to be able to catch up? Looks like your Halloween costume. Oh, my goodness. We got 2-1. Two, 2-1. One, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. I feel like I'm gambling something up. Oh, my. Yep. Take a deep breath. We don't have the budget for an ambulance today. Okay. 2-2. Two 2-2. To two. Two to two. Christian, David, they are even. Oh, my goodness. All righty. Yes. This is really going surprisingly better than I thought it would for both contestants here. Yeah, you know, we yeah, it would have been fun if we liked him up for this. <laughs> you guys are doing a great job. Yeah, take your breather, take your breather, take your breather. We'll have to recount how many apples each person grabbed, but that's okay, because I believe in both of you, and we have faith for you this Halloween. One more for Christian, one more for Christian. And V just took, like, a full shower on the set. All right, and we got from five. And four, three, two, and one. All righty, players, stand back and let's take a look. 
in the splash zone, ladies and gentlemen. All righty. So it looks like Christian has four apples left, while Naveed has got two <laughs> apples left. Our winner is Naveed. Congratulations, Naveed. You win. Absolutely nothing, but have a happy, happy Halloween. Thank you both so much for being here. Take an apple. That's your treat. And also, you know, never be that trick-or-treating house that only gives out apples. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Where's everyone? I thought we were closing the program together. Anyway, maybe I need to do it by myself. Or you can help me. Ah. OK. So. Hey, friends, it's been amazing. Thank you so much for seeing us. And see you next week. We will have an entire show about food. Bay Area has a lot of delicious cuisines. And we want to know what's your favorite place to go on and off campus. So stay tuned. And until next week, have a great Halloween and a great week. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> it's me again. From the beginning, I warned you, you did not listen to me. You thought I'm just from the stories, but face the reality. I am here now, and I have two of your friends captured. What? Yes. Now, the choice of who will you set free is yours. You have a decision to make. Who will you set free? Some people call this karma, but I call it justice. <laughs> no, you can't! That must be another way I can do that to them! Please, it's okay, you won! What do you want us to do? It's too late. You have to make that decision. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go live. All right, Teresa. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, reporting live from the SF, the Bay, where we stay, and you know what we best at. Marcus Hall Studio One, that's the best set. Number one show in the game, at your best bet. We giving y'all quality, y'all better trust that. It's for us, by us, students make the impact. Run by the pit, man, you better tune in. They minds lifted, oh so gifted, serving greatness, the city reverberates this, communicate through the screens and the ways, can we broadcast and put the B up in Becca, for radio shows, podcasts, we the Mecca, check up, hit that one two from the mic check, now it's time to go live, don't know what you might get, I know that you like this, the content is priceless, and after this song, I just know that I made a fan, and let me give a shout out to Jada Jans, for all these young artists, yeah, you gave a chance, let's jam out to the music, Get you in the mood quick on the SF debate. Yeah, let's do this.